Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Feist. It's a, I guess, indie puzzle platformer, much like Limbo. So, uh, honestly, I don't know too much about this game, so I'm just gonna hop right in. Uh, it looks really nice. Looks, I mean, it looks like Limbo. And if anything looks like Limbo, that's usually a pretty encouraging thing. Now, unlike Limbo, this game doesn't use uh, 2D sprites. Everything is 3D, or at least a lot of things are. So I don't know about the environment, but these uh, these character models are absolutely 3D. Which actually works great. You can see just a little bit of light, a little bit of haze kind of going past them. Every once in a while, you know, just a hint of detail on the character. And I actually really, really dig that. Like this guy looking at you right now, it's just like, oof. And then he turns away. Oh man, the profile is so good. So good, and the background is really nice too. It's got kind of a, not quite a painted effect to it, but I don't really know what to call it. Anyway, I think we were being carried by one of those creatures. So let's, uh, let's stick to move. I dig this kind of game, this kind of gameplay, you know, simple, quiet, but I'm assuming that, uh, you know, shit gets harder and more confusing as we go along. Hopefully it's not very action-y. All right. Oh yeah, this is definitely a to jump. Oh, do I have to? Yep, I have to just roll this box forever. God damn it, Pineco, get out of my way. We got things to do. We got places to be. We've got physics objects to physics. I guess the pine cone technically counts as this. All right, this isn't dangerous in the slightest. Oh yeah, we're dead. All right, game over. See you guys. Never mind. What the? Are we like a baby one of those things? We might be. Well, movement is like super floaty. Okay, what can I do? I can jump. Wait. I got like a, I got like a smacky do. That sounds like we're sneezing. Hey, you can actually see my hands illuminate just a little bit. Okay, I like the movement. It's very fast. Oh, shoot. You can actually hit these branches. I wonder if that, res like if I can do anything with that. Probably not immediately. Maybe, maybe there's a puzzle related. Let's see, is there grabbing? Let's see. Yep. Yeah, I don't think I'm climbing any trees here, but that seems kind of meaningless anyway. I'm just gonna do what I can because it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun just like ramping off of things, you know, hardcore parkouring. Oh, interesting. Can I not... Is this only... Oh, there we go. You can only jump on the top of that, but otherwise you can go past it. I actually like that in games where there are certain objects you can get both like stand on top of and not. I have no idea where we're going, by the way. Yeah, mushrooms. Also, I have no idea if there's such a thing as falling damage in this game. I'm kind of hoping not. Oh, we're killing the flies. I am the Lord of the Flies. Actually, I don't even know if they're flies. Yeah, they kind of look midgy. Midgy enough for me. Okay, we're not killing that one. Fuck. Oh, okay. We're not. It's not. We're not totally vulnerable to this thing. We're just moderately so. I don't have a health meter anywhere, so I can only assume that I can withstand so many hits before I die. At least they don't really hunt or kill. Which I'm appreciative of. Okay. God, the music is good, too. Like, it's super atmospheric. But, like... I'll be totally honest. Atmospheric music is my kind of jam. That and chiptunes. Okay. So, what? Oh. Okay, we went inside. Okay, so we can hide underneath the mushrooms. Good to know. Looks like they're mostly disinterested in me, though. Oh, nuts. At least I seem to be semi-immune to their charms. Charms is a subjective word. Oh, I see. I see what I have to do here. Okay. Let's get our butt out of here. I knew this was going to be relevant at some point. Ah! Got it. All right. Uh, give me a, oh. Oh, I see. We just we just stay underneath. I like this. But yeah, this game uses uh, shadows, silhouette, everything very well. Ooh, nice parallax in the background. I like almost the kind of the the lined effect when you get this X to pick up and use objects. Bah! Hey, so I can actually pick things up. All right. Well, I will be. I will. I guess. Nip. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe I can just jump over that guy. Okay. Good. So we'll just keep bringing this. Pinecone with us. I'm digging the physics on these creatures too. Like this is why uh, this is why 3D actually helps this sort of game. Uh, that like it actually gives you more of a range of motion with less animation work in a lot of ways. Drop and push objects. 
Did I just stick that pine cone? I did. Alright, what's that? What? Okay, B to drop and push. It doesn't say grab, it says drop and push. So I can just kind of shove things. But I assume what we want to do... Can I pick this thing up? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, there we go. So what we want to do. Like a bit of a, a ramp to go off of. I was thinking I'd just have to move the uh, the log as well, but doesn't look like we can pick that up. Not even by the end. But we can totally just uh, put down a rock and hop over it. Hey, is that where the first cutscene was? I think so. So maybe we were, were trying to go find our people. And like, that's the premise of what we're doing here. I don't know. I'm just going to assume I'm actually a fully grown uh, hairball. And everybody else is just freakishly gigantic. I may or may not be a uh, hairball creature with a uh, Napoleon complex. Got it. All right. But yeah, no, the movement is great. I wonder what that tied off area is. Possibly a trap. Traps are terrifying. Well, guess we find out. Ow. Yes. Yes is trap. Can confirm. Also is terrifying. Okay. So there, there are traps all over the place. We gotta worry about that. Okay. I wonder if... No. Pinecone's probably not going to save my butt against uh, a bunch of arrows. Okay, let's think. See, the problem is we can't huck it and then run unless we can huck it from below. Because otherwise we just... Uh, wow, I'm getting stopped by the first dangerous puzzle in the entire game. Funny. Okay. Let's practice here. So it doesn't look like it can change the angle in which I throw at all. What can I do about that? Just use it for armor. Nope! Cannot use it for armor. Okay. Might not even be the solution to get the pinecone here, but considering it's resetting me back to this point every single time, I feel like this is... Oh. What if it's a... What, is, what if it's integral to, like, lowering this somehow? Watch me totally just get stuck. All right. He really does not drop it, though. Okay. What are we supposed to do with this? I don't know. No, my pine cone! I need you! You're my buddy! You're the thing that's going to prevent me from dying here. But how this is going to happen, I don't know. Because, yeah, I, I fall too... I fall too slow. I feel like the log is key. Okay. I do it this way? What if I push it around out of this hole? It worked earlier. So I can't push it. Oh, okay, good. We didn't get stuck. Alright. No, we don't want to... Wait. We're making some headway on this one. How much? Would like to know. Let's just leave the pinko there. Okay, let's not trigger that. Let's keep not triggering that. Let's pick this up. Can I shove? Hmm. I feel like I'm overcomplicating things, but shoot. That was absolutely the wrong button. Okay, so we've got our we've got our buddy. I'm trying to think because that log totally protects us. Oh, there we go. Got it. All right. So I just needed to throw it from further away. Well, I guess we've killed buddy the uh, 
We've killed we've killed another friend. This seems reasonable enough. Okay. So my only assumption is that we do that. All right. Yeah. No, the physics in this game works well. Can I? Can I not? Oh, hello. Oh, he's a coming for me. This is not appreciated. Okay. What? Nope. Oh shoot. I just make that jump? No. I see. So those things are actually violent. They will try and come and kill you. Okay. But we're getting it. We're getting the platforming. I'm trying to trying to see. I wonder if this game has boss battles. I kind of hope not, just because I'm not entirely sure how effective that would be. Whoop. Okay, so this is a bit of a pickle. So we've got the first one, which is fairly easy to traverse. We've got this guy. So you don't have to worry about that one too much. Now that's concerning. Huh. I don't have anything I can throw. And I can only assume I can't shove these guys. I can. Okay. I can shove them around. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I don't even have to try here. So there's that one down. Was there another one? No. We get another pine cone. Ow. At least it doesn't kill me. Do we still have Mr. Pinecone? Oh, we do. And he's a coming for me. Okay, I'm only going to assume this is a safe landing. Yes! Alright. Arrow traps down there can like that concern me. There's, like, traps and stuff. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to get... Ooh. Okay. So I guess it's not our people. Ow. Ah. Whoop. 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 Ow. So we found a boss. We've totally found a boss. Now how do we fight him? He just kicks the shit out of me. Alright. Well, at least we know where our checkpoints are. Let's grab this, hop over. Now we've got an arrow trap, but I don't know if I can lure the dude back for it. I'm just going to operate under the assumption that that is negatory. Oh, can I... Oh, I see. I got it now. We were supposed to hit him with that arrow trap going underneath, because there's no... Yeah. Bye. Come on. Got him. What the? Why is the world shaking? The world did not like me killing that dude. I'm concerned. Alright, so what do, do we just go over? We just go over. Come with me, Pinecone, if you want to live. Yes! Alright, vegetarian. I have no idea what that means. I guess that means we're the vegetarian and he wasn't. Either way, that was... was that... that was like, sort of chapter one? I guess so, that was zone one. Ah, creepy. I love it! Alright, so this is gonna be a bit of a short first episode, uh, but that is the, uh, life I lead. They'll get much larger, larger as we... longer as we go along, but I wanted to take a quick look at this while I had a little bit of time to do so. So, overall first impressions of this game, it's like Limbo, a little bit more high-flying, high a little bit faster paced, which I'm actually pretty okay with. I didn't like how slow and methodical Limbo was. The controls in this game, this game handles like a dream, or effectively a, oh shoot, what are they called? Uh, a tribble with arms and legs. I'm uh, pretty maneuverable, which I'm actually appreci I'm appreciating. I almost wish there was a button to like kind of tuck and roll, considering how many, like, uh, you know, downward slopes we have, because that would actually be kind of a neat neat thing, but then again, that might actually put us a little bit too close to Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know, I don't really see this guy's motto being gotta go fast. Maybe just gotta not die. That sounds like a pretty good motto. I can live by that one. So, uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep playing this one. It uh, seems pretty entertaining, and it's very pretty, too. God, I love the music. So, I will see you guys in the next episode of Feist. And, uh, before I forget, if you like this very short impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave a like. It helps more than you know. Uh, if you want to 
see more, let me know in the comments below, or hit subscribe, because I'm going to be doing more of this and other indie impressions videos. And if you want to, uh, if you've got any comments, you, uh, do you want to suggest another game for me to play, or anything else of that sort, uh, leave a comment below, and I will, uh, see what you have to say. But with that, like I was saying, I'll see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.